there guys welcome back to my video series this video is a continuation of a previous video that I made about using the AEC extended parts of uh, 3d max that is the architectural units that uh, 3d max uh, ships with in the previous video that, that was called using AEC extended parts uh, we focused on creating walls here as you guys can see I have these uh, blue walls and I have my windows which I have two windows set up here there's one and two and I have a door over here, and then, I, and then on this side here is a uh, sliding door. In the previous video, I went over how to uh, modify all these objects, and how to use the uh, modifications to kind of create different elements for the doors and the walls and the windows. In this video, I want to focus on how to apply materials. I mentioned before that using materials for these AEC extended objects are a little bit different than, than just using basic materials. To get started, let me just open up the uh, material editor. Just press the M key, and you'll open up your uh, material editor. And the first difference I want to show you about this is that each of these windows and doors, or, or I mean, basically even the walls, everything is made up of five different materials. The way that we access this is that I'm going to go to my standard here. I'm going to pick standard, and I'm going to pick multi sub object right there, and then press OK. This will ask me to uh, replace the material. I want to discard the old material. Do that, and I'm set up here with uh, 10 different materials here. Uh, windows, doors, walls, railings, and stairs only use five different uh, materials. So let me pick this set number here. And I'll set this up to five. I press OK. Now you can have as little as one a material, or you can have as many as 400 materials. It's really up to you. Uh, for this one here, I'm going to call this one the windows. I always like to name these so I know exactly where I'm placing these. And the way that I identify which material goes where is I change the color of each of these uh, materials. Right now, if I apply this, everything on this window will be gray. If I pick the color swatch here beside it, I can make one of these red. The other one here is going to be yellow. I just move down the uh, color spectrum. So I'll go green. This one here will be uh, blue. And lastly, I'll make this one here like a purple, like a fuchsia. And you can see the different colors represent the different types of material that you can use. In addition, I'll create one for the doors here. And let me make a new material here. I'll change this to multi sub objects. Discard all material. Yes, I want to do that. Let me call this one here doors. I'll set my number to five. And again, I got to make sure that I apply it. So I hit the application key there. That is the button to apply the material. Let me change these materials here to different colors again. And you can see exactly which part of the door. Uh, is uh, represented by the certain material. So let me do this one more time here. Purple color there. Okay, so now you can see that the frame of the door is blue. So let me actually name that here. I can I can call that the uh, the uh, front the uh, front panel of the door is red. I'll call that front panel. Press enter and. Uh, the back panel here is going to be yellow, so let me actually call that back panel. The green is going to be the glass or the uh, inside panel. Call, let me call that inside. And the fuchsia, the purple, is going to be actually the inseam of this door. So let me actually call that the inseam. I think it's called the leaf in uh, 3D Max. And uh, this can be applied to this door and also any other door, the door that I have here. So to the sliding door. You can actually apply it to the sliding door here as well, and the different colors will just apply to where it has got to go. I can put the window material here, and this one here is going to be called the walls. And again, this is the exact same process. There are five parts to each wall. Let me set this up here. Once you do one of the uh, materials here, you kind of get used to creating different materials and doing a lot of different elements here, and different work and everything. It's pretty interesting and fun. You pick the wall here, and I'll 
apply that to the wall. You can see that the outside of the wall is yellow, the inside of the wall is green, the top is going to be blue, and the bottom is going to be a dark blue, or the fuchsia color, I'm sorry, the, the uh, fuchsia color. And I do have a red color, and that is going to be the inside of the wall. If this wall ended uh, the cut or the inside of the wall, that would be red. I don't see that uh, material here, so I may just want to just ignore this and just call this inside and just have like a not used there for this certain wall here, okay? But once you know where, where these uh, materials go, you can go back and then you can add your uh, different materials here and add a lot of different... Uh, 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 different uh, textures and bump maps, uh, add some different uh, diffuse colors here and everything, and then create what looks like a very functional building here. Right now it just looks like a clown car, or like a clown building. It looks kind of funny actually, so. Um, but uh, you, what you can do is, uh, your building would uh, go from looking like this, to looking like this. As you can see right here, the uh, materials that I've used have uh, been changed into a into a brick for the outside wall. I've used a wood material for the doors, and the windows here are this kind of material here. Now, be aware that whenever you do use things in your uh, material editor here, whenever you uh, render these things, they do look different. So what you may want to do is uh, take this here and then just press the F9 key to uh, render out something nice and see what your materials there look like. So. And so there, knowing what those materials do, allows you to render something that just looks fantastic, and, and now you can add, add different lights to it, you can add cameras to it, and it looks pretty uh, decent. So, um, using your colors to kind of map out where, you, where your different materials go is a very uh, intuitive way to make sure that you're putting things in the right order. Okay? If you guys have any questions or uh, comments, I'll be happy to, uh, to um, answer them on the uh, comments section. All right, thank you very much.